Here we see the mommy Eutyranus tending to her nest of boxes. Oh, what's this? Oh, brilliant. We're here for the birth of a brand new toy for grown-ups. Oh, brilliant. Blessed day, bollocks. Oh, mommy Eutyranus is looking proud as shit. Welcome to Corzians! Howdy, howdy, howdy! Woohoo! We're here today to continue, let's be honest, our year of unboxings, basically, with our U Tyrannus Huali Beasts of the Mesozoic action figure. Holy yes, that's awesome! Last week we started with an uh, last week last time we started with an unboxing of Miles Morales. Got him out of the box, took him out for a candlelit hot dog dinner, and today is no different. Hot dogs for everyone. Very excited to unbox another Tyrannosaur figure. Oh yes, this is a big girl. I'm very excited. Very, I'm very excited. <laughs> oh man, and I think uh, the largest known dinosaur ever found with feathers. That's cool, huh? Huh? Part of the paleontological feathered dinosaur boom of discoveries over there in China. They're finding lots of shit over there in the past decades, like U Tyrannus, for example. Probably like Anzu, that's probably one of them. Yeah, those kind of feathered ones. Very cool, lots of fuzz, lots of fluff, lots of fluffing. Really cool, but really warm, thanks to the downy coat of feathers. Oh, speaking of hotboxing, we're going to take it out of the box. But before we do, we're going to look at the hotbox. Check out the box. It's hot. Check out the box. They're very similar. All the Beast of Mesozoic boxes are very similar. Got the big window on the front so you can see the large figure inside. Got the cool uh, species-specific art on the front there. Um, you can see on the back, it shows the other Wave 1 Tyrannosaurs. And you can read basically what I just wrote, read out loud. The largest known dinosaur, direct evidence of feathers. Ooh, it also had distinctive snout crests. Who doesn't? Not many, because they're distinctive. But we're not here for the box. We're here for the absence of box. A prospect many of my fellow interneters are all too familiar with. Yes, let's get her, him, it out of the box. Sweet Lord, I pray that this is better than my, the 118th scale Tyrannosaurus that I unboxed or took out or reviewed only a few episodes ago on a wonderful show called Corazions. Did you know it's possible to subscribe? Doing so leads to less suicides, or at least one less. <laughs> what a wonderful world! Let's get him out of the box, I got box tools. Okay, here we go. Before we pull out, comes with the usual collector card and instructions. The cool collector card contains the art that is on the box, as well as the same copy on the box too. I think he's laying down or? Taking a nap or something? Yeah, it looks like he's taking a nap and burping <laughs> some smoke. <laughs> Comes with a stand. Hopefully it's better than the last one in terms of usefulness. We cut the straps here. The stand has a rocky protuberance. It's in two pieces, just like the other one was. 
comes with the detached tail in three segments just like the large rex was i'm guessing yep the end of it is bendy which is nice i love the bendiness of these when they offer it's always very sturdy it feels good comes with our articulated legs just like the big rex by default it comes with the standing pose legs but if you want to get some action out of it, you can attach the articulated legs as well. And we'll get a look at all these right now on a close-up. Here are the articulated legs. And here are the various feeds for different options. We got lifting up walking feeties. We have reached back, tippy toe, ready to lift off feeties. And that's it. <laughs> Alrighty. I have the figure out. And what a mess! Oh, so much plastic. Oh my goodness. Alright, now I'm going to try to attach the tail without heating it up. Let me see how that goes. Got the peg on there, got the hole on there. Let's see how that goes. Oh! I don't know if it's on, but it's not coming out. It's not coming off. So that's good. All right, all right, all right. And let's get a look at you, Tyrannus. Hawali! 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 That's what that's from. Oh man, oh man. As always with these, the sculpt is very impressive, very cool looking. It being smaller, I can t it feels lighter than the big T-Rex, obviously. Oh, having some trouble standing though. Okay, so it's not gonna stand on its base feet without the stand, apparently. Not great, not great. No, it's not going to stand at all. Okay, Let's see what the stand is for. There are holes on the default feet. Uh, again, the stand seems to be designed to prevent usefulness because I don't see like a good place to put it other than like here, but not on that part. Uh, maybe right here. It's not really on anything on that side. But let's do that. Okay. So for now, that's what we're dealing with. The sculpt is amazing, the detail is great. I'm not a huge fan of the coloring choices uh, of the design, uh, the, the body coloring. I don't really like that. But on the face, the whole beaky crest thing and very cool birdie look is really cool. Again, another problem with the jaw is that it will not close. Um, it's got the foreskin hoodie, which, this one is even more tight. This part is more pliable, so you can kind of move it better than the other Rex. Um, we'll talk about movement in a minute, but uh, it's not, there's no movement at the upper head really at all. So, yeah. But let's have a look at her. The sculpt is amazing, really cool, fluffy all over, really, really cool. I like that a lot. Great face, great face detail, the eyes in particular are very pretty. And I just want to note the eye detail again, because it is so cool. Just look at the detail in the sculpt around the eye and the paint is really nice. The eye is um, really, really cool. Probably the best part of the whole figure. <laughs> the front on look is pretty funny. <laughs> and um, you can kind of tell, but it kind of looks like the tail the top of the tail. Maybe I turned, maybe I did it upside down. No, I don't think I did. I don't think I did. It's possible that I did, but I don't think I did. No, the tail white is actually a different color white than the body white, so it, that's kind of strange. There's, it seems to be a little bit of it on the head that matches the tail, but the rest of it is a different tail, and it's a very obvious change there, so that's disappointing.
lots of cool mouth detail. I can't tell if the tongue is articulated, but really nice, shiny mouth bits with nice teeth. Really cool eyeballs. Really great sculpt detail all over the place. Check out the birdie grabby hands. Real nice. And real nice foot detail too on all of the feet, even if making it stand is a huge pain in the butt. For sure. But let's get into how it can move. It's got an okay range of movement at the head, at the base of the neck, I should say. Not much up and down. It's The twist is good. There's lots there, and the back and forth is good. If you isolate the back of the neck and try to move the top of the head, there is a joint there, but it's up and down, no, not at all. And side to side, not even really. The jaw feels a little bit more bendy, and it um, definitely opens slightly further than the Big Rex, maybe, uh, but again, it's a disappointing open amount and it cannot close. Um, let's move on to the torso. Torso's got good movement. That's about all you'd expect. Good up and down too. Um, we'll bypass the limbs for now. The tail is moves good, like for what you'd want it to do. Um, I don't like the segmented approach. I think it looks bad. I'd rather the whole thing. Be bendy, like I mentioned before. That's how the raptor and the ceratopsians are, um, but that's not the choice for here, and uh, I don't think it looks good. Um, let's go on to the arms. The only really movable part of the big T-Rex, uh, but this new Tyrannus has really nice arms. Really nice. It looks like a freaking looks like an eagle foot. Um, looks really cool. Got rotate at the shoulders. They can go in and out a little bit. They do go all the way around. Got an elbow bend that is um, pretty generous, straight to bend, that's nice. Uh, a rotate at the wrist, no additional um, hand or finger uh, articulation. But it, at all, it is all pretty bendy feeling, which is nice. You can kind of just get a little bit bend out of it. Um, and we'll move on to the thighs here. This suffers from the same thing as the big T-Rex was when you move the thighs, there's huge gaps in the sculpt. However, uh, these legs are definitely a bit more pliable and movable than the big Rex. And uh, I'm gonna take it up the this part. On the stationary legs, there's a good bend at the knee. It can go, it can make a pretty good bend there. That looks nice. And let's go ahead and change out the feet to see how that looks. So, much like a T-Rex, big one, you just twist and pull, and it's going to be scary. <laughs> I'll change both, both legs. Um, sell by the dew claw or whatever, which leg goes on. Pop, pop it back in. And uh, the articulated leg is really nice, that's really cool. I like that a lot. It moves at the ankle and at the toe, foot part, and again, the knee. I'm gonna try to see if it can stand with the other articulated leg also on there. I would be very surprised since it does not stand on its own with the stationary legs. But, um, and again, there are no holes in the articulated legs. So even if you wanted to use them on the stand for stability, you can't, that's fun. So let me try to get him in a pose here. Now that is cool. That's cool. Yeah, check it out. It can stand with the with the um, posable legs. Very cool. It doesn't seem like the figure is too heavy or like it's crushing the legs. They probably, in the instructions that I actually read them, probably recommend against it, just like with the big T-Rex. But the big T-Rex couldn't stand for shit with the articulated legs. At least this one can. That's really cool. And I do want to try something. No, I can't. I can't. I was seeing if maybe I could balance on one leg so I could get a, you know, a, a different foot in the air type thing. Let's try out the feet for a back walking foot 
here. It hurts! Oh, it hurts! It hurts so bad! I wanna break the ink cleaner. Fudge cookies! Well, it's not on great. Let's see if I can at least stay on for the pose portion. The pose portion! Proposing! Very nice! Very cool! That works! Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah! That's nice! I like it! Very, very cool. Now let's get a look at it next to the big T-Rex and next to the Taurosaurus and next to the Sauronithalestes of all of the Beasts of the Mesozoic figure lines. Here it is next to the Rex. Very cool that they're both 118th scale. Um, so you get a, an idea of just how massive T-Rex really is. Um, and these are all, of course, the Tyrannosaurid uh, figure lines. So they are all relatives in the dinosaur taxonomy. So Eutyrannus is a relative of T-Rex. That's really cool. Here it is next to our resident big boy, Ceratopsian, Taurosaurus, the biggest one of that line. Um, along with the adult Triceratops, of course. Oh man, these look really cool together, for sure. Um, of course, they did not live near each other. T-Rex and Triceratops did. Um, at least that's what they think. Uh, but uh, I'm sure there were some Ceratopsians rolling around in China too. Probably. Very cool. Do you guys know the Prehistoric Planet 2 is coming out soon? I don't know. Just wanted to date the episode. Just saying. Here is Eutyrannus next to Sauronithalestis. Really, really cool raptor. Really, really cool uh, raptor series. Of course, these ones cannot stand on their own at all. Um, their, their little birdie legs are far too brittle, uh, so I'll hold it up here. But just really cool, two feathered friends that might be more than friends after all. They've fallen in love. While this figure is ultimately disappointing uh, in terms of several details like the jaw and the overall movement maybe of the head, um, the different color of the tail and the segment of the tail, don't like that. It is an improvement slash better than the big T-Rex. Definitely got way more even though it's still limited, way more movement. Um, the changing of the body parts is easier. It can actually stand without the stand. The stand is still crap, but, and the usage of it is still crap, but it can stand and it can, uh, it just looks great. Uh, as always, the sculpt is incredible. Um, and yeah, we're really, I'm really pleased. I'm really pleased. Not super pleased, but I'm mildly pleased. Here are some attempted solo poses. That's him walking. That's him laying. That's him saying, hey! <laughs> and uh, here's just a, yeah. Again, not much other than walking that you can do, but I tried to show the complete range of movement in the poses. Beast of the Mesozoic, you Tyrannus Huali! Gets a three out of five much needed edgy Big Bird reboots. We did it! Whoa! What an unboxing! Another one! Another one, you piece of shit! Oh fuck! Please like and subscribe! Please see my social media bullshit! It's here, it's here, it's here, it's there! Whoa! Acknowledge that I have a Patreon! Acknowledge it! Check the box that you acknowledge my Patreon. Check it! And the cookies. Yes! Next time on Core Zeons, we are, man, we're not getting off this dino train. Hell no. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Next time on Core Zeons, we'll be taking a look at Jurassic World Hammond Collection, an armored duo. Yes, we'll be talking Ankylosaurus for from Jurassic Park 3, and Pachycephalosaurus from the Lost World Jurassic Park, two new releases in the Ham Collection. Very cool. After that, why not spoil it? We're gonna do the Up House in Lego form. We're gonna build the Up Lego House. After that, we're doing another Hammond Collection, more Hammond Collections. And after that, 
We're doing another Spider-Man! Wow! We do three things on this show. That's not true, Corey. We did Beast Wars just only two weeks ago. That's true. We've never done Beast Wars before. So many unboxings! Memes of exploding heads and lasers! Wow! Amy, what do you think of this? What do you think about you, Tyrannus? Amy. Abe, what do you think about you, Tyrannus? One sniff, and then it's over? Is that right? Ah! Ah! Hola, I am Corbot, the robot. I am sporting a new dude just for you. Corbot yells real loud to you from the year 2050. The son died yesterday, and Lord Clorbob has ordered that our guns not be out because of it. My creator has blessed me with life to interrupt your programming. He is kept alive by machines, including me. But where is my parade? As you can see from this video, the remaining humanities are hurting puppies. And this clip is very confusing and makes no sense out of context, of course. By my calculations, it is 1995 there, and you have only days to save the planet. But relax, homo. e rectus. Corbett got you, dog. To save from the dietans, you must... Ding! Oh! The Pete Morgulator has squirted. The Pete Morgulator takes ancient piece of DNA and recreates the perfect ah uh, sweaty ah uh, triangles that just clog my circuits, you know what I mean? Today's DNA find contains the victim's excretions, but mostly it is from a place called Mr. Pizza. Ha ha ha, Mr. Pizza is my insert parent's name. You can call me Pizza Junior. Here it is! It certainly looks like some kind of pizza. My ancient smelling powers tell me that this was not very expensive. So that's good. Good for the past. It is triangle. It is medium thick. It has sauce. It has not enough cheese. And the ronies are weird! Oh well, you know what they say. When you have sex with pizza, you have sex with all pizzas! Okay, it is mediocre. Corbett is not pleased. I mean, I'll still eat the rest of it. Of course, why would I not? <laughs> Grease, please! My official review of Mr. Pizza is that it's... Mr. OK Pizza. Consumables consumed! Oh no! <laughs> Why is this happening? Oh no! Before I could uh, tell you the uh, intricacies uh, of my involved plan that was short and succinct and very easy to follow, why would it not let me complete that when I could just tell you in two words how to save the planet? Oh! Whatever it may be. Uh, uh, uh. Thank you so much for watching. I will see all of you, all of you, next time on Corzion's. It appears uh, you, Tyrannus Olaf, has grown up and is doing just, just. Bonkers. He's doing great. And we've named him Olaf because Whimsy is alive and well in this world. Here, Olaf is learning to hunt polar bears, which is totally accurate fossil record-wise. Oh, he might get it. 
he might just get them. Oh, he might just get them. Oh, snap! They've shared their crisp, refreshing Coca-Cola with Olaf. And oh dear, we've lost another creature to fatness. Our planet is eternally doomed if we do not change course. But I must admit, it does look darn tasty and I am a bit parched. Psh. Oh my, that original Coca-Cola taste.